everyone, and welcome back to On The Record. Of course, I am Ty, and today we're taking a look at my Record Store Day Black Friday 2017 pickups. Not a lot, just actually three things, but I wanted to show them off nonetheless because they mean a lot to me. I was very stoked to pick them up and uh, stoked that they were uh, getting released, um, to be honest with you. And there was quite a few things on the list that kind of caught my eye, but not really. The list was kind of weak this year, to be quite honest with you. Uh, there was an Anthrax single, like die cut single. That was pretty cool. Um, I didn't pick that up. Maybe later, if I can find it. There was a Creator uh, picture disc, 12-inch picture disc. That was kind of cool. Uh, maybe later, uh, if I could find it. There was an Eric Church 7-inch. Uh, again, maybe later if I can find it. Um, but these are three things that I definitely wanted to pick up and I, I wasn't going to leave without them. Uh, we got there around uh, 7 o'clock, two hours before Zia Records opened here in Phoenix. And to be quite honest with you, I was shocked because we were like the fourth fourth person in line, uh, me and my buddy. So there was like three other people ahead of us, literally. And... In previous years, if you arrived two hours early, the line was usually much, much longer. So I don't know if the list was just bad this year and didn't appeal to a lot of different people or what. Um, but needless to say, we got what we wanted and we picked up everything that we wanted and then met back up and went through and, uh, you know, picked the stuff that we were definitely going to buy that day. But we could have got everything on our list if we wanted to, but we did get our must-haves. Um, yeah, we put a lot of stuff back. Uh, there was a lot of pressings of this stuff, at least at Zia. There was a ton of copies of everything I saw, at least. And even stuff that I wasn't interested in, they had, you know, multiple, multiple copies of the releases. So, kind of sucks, but that's kind of the name of the game now. It's becoming so big, Record Store Day and Black Friday and whatnot, that... You know, it's a moneymaker now, so things aren't going to be truly limited anymore. But let's get right into it. Uh, the first release is The Rush, Closer to the Heart, 7-inch single. Uh, this coincides with the 40th anniversary release of A Farewell to Kings, which, of course, Closer to the Heart was on. Uh, one of the biggest Rush songs of all time. Um, I love the song. Uh, one of my favorites by the band. And from a very good record of Farewell to Kings. A very underrated Rush record as well. Uh, but this is definitely cool. Uh, comes with the sticker on here commemorating Record Store Day. Um, also uh, just references that it's celebrating uh, the 40th anniversary of A Farewell to Kings. And it's got some very cool artwork on the back or on the front. And there's the back. So very cool. I will open it up here. Nothing too special as far as the vinyl goes, but it did come with something extra, which is very cool, and I was stoked to have. And I'll show the vinyl first. Got custom labels. Comes with just a regular paper inner. But there is the record itself. Very cool custom labels, just on black. And then it comes with an actually a seven inch insert for like the big hole uh, seven inches. That is very, very cool. If I can get it open, we will take a look at it. I was stoked because I actually forgot that this was even in there. So that was very, very cool. Because I was like, I was still going to buy it, but I, I, I'm i not a big fan of 7 inches, to be honest with you. It's a rabbit hole that I don't necessarily want to go down. But let me see if this will pick up on the camera. But here's the the custom inner for a big hole 7 inches. And it's got custom A Farewell to Kings artwork inside. So very, very cool, man. I love that. That's cool to have. Um... I probably won't use it because I do have my own and I don't listen to 7 inches a lot. But anytime I listen to this, 
And I don't want to put on a Farewell to Kings, which is rare, um, that I wouldn't want to put on the whole record. If I just want to listen to Closer to the Heart, I'll be using that in it just to commemorate that. Moving on, uh, we actually have two copies of this on two, diff two different formats. Uh, it's the Poncier release. And this is from the movie Singles, if you are familiar with that. Or if not, it's from the movie Singles. Uh, here is the cassette. I'm going to keep this sealed. Uh, there's really no reason for me to open it. I can play it, but I have this is why I bought the 12-inch vinyl. So I got the sticker on there. Uh, the legendary Cliff Poncier demos. I got the Record Store Day logo on it. So very cool. I'll keep that sealed. Uh, it came. Each of these had three different colors. The artwork was des designed by uh, Jeff Ament from uh, Pearl Jam. So that is very cool. He was in singles. And if you don't know, these songs are demos done by Chris Cornell, who obviously of Soundgarden fame and who was also in singles. Um, so this is very cool. Cliff Poncier is the um, main character, sort of, in singles. One of the main characters, I should say. There's quite a few. Um, and he's the frontman of Citizen Dick. Uh, the band in there that, that Pearl Jam uh, is, and uh, Matt Dillon, Cliff Pontier, is the front man. And it's, it's funny because Eddie Vedder is the drummer, and, Cl and uh, Matt Dillon is the front man, so kind of cool. Um, the singles is great. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest watch it. It's a great time capsule of that early Seattle scene. You have Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, and uh, Pearl Jam all represented in the movie. Um, it's this very cool Cameron Crowe film. He has so many good movies, but Singles captures that scene perfectly, uh, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, I wasn't there, but it just seems so true to life. And obviously, with those guys in it, um, it just makes it that much more authentic. Uh, but back to the record. These songs are... Cliff Pontier's solo songs when he leaves Citizen Dick. He's doing a solo record, and these are the demo songs. Just on black vinyl, custom labels, very cool. It sounds wonderful. Um, just the cool thing about this, though, is the fact that it is Chris Cornell. And it's his demos. And another really cool thing is that... There is an early version of Spoon Man, uh, one of Soundgarden's biggest hits. There's an early demo of that on this. So that is even just more badass. It makes it all the much more special. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I picked up this Record Store Day Black Friday. Uh, let me know down below what you guys picked up or what you think about these releases or if you picked up these releases or not. I did pick up some other records on Black Friday at some other stores. Um, but these were the exclusives, so I just wanted to do a video on these. I will have a video coming out shortly, uh, kind of going over all my pickups in the last month or so, and highlighting um, some recent pickups more in-depthly as well. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you have some constructive criticism, please let me know. Hit that subscribe button if you want more videos. They will be coming at you. I'm going to try to do... A video every couple weeks or every week if I can. Um, but anyway, you guys, until next time, we'll see you later for Ty on On the Record.